Let's see what's in our beer fridge here. We got a few treats in here. I think I'm gonna have this one. All right, so I was gonna do this review outside, but the camera kept fogging up, so I decided to pick Belching Beaver uh, Phantom Bride, and I did actually crack the can. I haven't tasted it or anything yet, but um, this is like my living room. <laughs> Last night I had Uber Joe. I didn't really uh, review it, but I'll come back to it. So anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Super casual, like, but I guess all my reviews are casual. So how's everybody doing tonight? Good? I'm glad you answered that question. So, I'm gonna read the back of the can. Named after the ethereal song by the one and only Deftones, uh, Phantom Bride IPA is a blend of Amarillo, Citra, Simcoe, Mosaic hops, delicately balanced for the perfect drinkable mix of citrus and hoppy goodness, a truly original Deftones slash Belching Beaver collaboration envisioned by Chino Moreno and skillfully crafted Thomas Peter. Sit back, put on your headphones, and drink away. Quite the write-up. 7.1% alcohol by volume. India Pale Ale. Doesn't say if it's like a hazy or anything like that. So we're just going to review it as a India Pale Ale. So it is, in fact, hazy, as they all are these days. It's got about finger and a half of head, um, some nice lacing on the glass, a little bit of alcohol legs too. Um, it's pretty fruity. I'm getting some cantaloupe and pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit, lemon, maybe a hint of like tangerine or tanger orange, tanger strawberry, something like that. Anyways, well, this is different. Um, wow, this is different. Um, I'm at a loss for words. So it tastes like bubble gum and cotton candy, and then at the end it's like bitter grapefruit and bitter orange so it's quite the clash I mean it's somewhat delicious like I can see it being enjoyable but for me it really clashes hmm it's like if they made bitter grapefruit flavored cotton candy that's very strange um, wow, cantaloupe rind. Guys, if they met, never made this again, I, I don't think that would be the worst decision. Um, yeah, I haven't seen the ratings or reviews on this, so I don't know what other people are saying, but this is pretty, pretty rough. It's not like, I've had worse beers from Belching Beaver, and they're usually pretty good, but... Got a good bit of acidity, slight hop resins, um, medium body, medium carbonation. Gosh, man, I don't even know what to say about this because it's like, it's likable, but it's not. Um, I know for the appearance, that's an easy one. I'll give that a four and a quarter. Um, the smell, you know, it's pretty good. I'd give it a four. Um, the flavor, Man, 3.75 firmly, if not lower. Um, sorry, guys, I'm wiping my forehead. I just got back from the gym, and it's hot outside. Um, feel, I'm gonna give that a 3.75 as well. I'd say an overall score of about a 3.85 which is much less than I was hoping to score this beer. I was hoping this would be, you know, 4.1, 4.2, something like that. But this is a weird one, guys. Um, uh, you know, usually some of the Deftones series beers are pretty good. This one, on the other hand, not so much. I would pass this up uh, if you do see it. 
unless the idea of grapefruit flavored cotton candy appeals to you. So, eat meat, keep your guns, and don't drink this beer.